Hello everyone, welcome back to Drama Fan. I didn't expect Ulta would kill Doyun. In my opinion, there is a possibility that Ulta really cares about Doyun because he even wanted to help Donwal to find Doyun after finding out Doyun was kidnapped by Secretary Kim. Maybe he killed Doyun out of necessity where Doyun was told by Secretary Kim that in the past Ulta killed Doyun and his mother. It seems that after being given first aid, Doyun will be immediately taken to the hospital. It looks like Donwal is waiting outside the operation room. It seems that Donwal will be very sorry that he can't protect his son again, and he will be very angry at Ulte. In my opinion, maybe Doyun will be able to be saved even if he is dying. However, the worst case is Doyun will die. Because based on Siho's dream, Doyun is seen smiling after being called and leaving. He didn't even turn his head when he was called by Siho. On the other hand, maybe Ulta will also get news that Doyun is in the hospital. Which means Doyun still has a chance to live and not die as Ulta hopes. That's why Ulta said, I must have hesitated when I stabbed Doyun. It seems that Ulta also has a hunch that Donwal knows Doyun is hurt by him. So he had to get ready knowing Donwal is coming for him. I think Donwal seems to know that Doyun was hurt by Ulta because Doyun knows something about the past life. When Doyun calls Donwal, he wants to talk about the past that Secretary Kim told him about. But the conversation was cut short because someone came. Where Donwal overhears Doyun's conversation with the person before Doyun's cell phone is destroyed. Where we know that person is Ulte. Maybe while waiting for Doyun, Donwal asked Detective Kwan about the first time he found him. Is there really no one around? The one who did this to him. Looks like Detective Kwan will reply that no one is around. But something is strange because Ulte has to leave to find Doyun. Where do we know that previously Detective Kwan was in Ulte's car? But he finds Doyun by driving his own car. So it's possible that Ulte told Detective Kwan to split up to look for Doyun to make it easier to find him. But it's strange because Ulte is also nowhere to be seen and he doesn't even contact Donwal. After that Donwal wants to go see Ulte immediately, but Songun holds him back because they still don't know how to kill Ulte. And it might put Donwal in a dangerous situation. It's possible that the next day Donwal decides to immediately take Songun to a place where Ulte can find him. Because Donwal doesn't want anyone around him to get hurt again. Before that, Songun could not leave Siho and Ms. Lee at Donwal's house whose location is known to Ulte. So Songun will ask Detective Kwan to take Siho and Ms. Lee is somewhere so Ulte can find them. It seems that before Songun parted ways with Siho, Siho was also worried about Songun getting closer to Donwal. So he warns Songun not to like Donwal because he is bulgusal. But Songun answered, Don't worry. I don't like him. I think, for now, Songun doesn't have feelings for Donwal yet, and she's just worried if something happens to Donwal, because after all he can feel the pain, although he can't die. Also, she needs Donwal to be free from Ulte. That's probably why she's very confident that she won't like Donwal. It seems that after Siho and Ms. Lee leave with Detective Kwan, Donwal and Songun also went to their hideout. On the way, Songun will comfort Donwal who looks down and believe that they will be able to beat Ulte. Also, it is not his fault that Doyun ended up like that. After that we can see Donwal burning this drawing. Maybe he wanted to erase the traces of Songun's image from the past. So other monsters who don't know Songun's figure can't look for her again. Here Donwal tells Songun not to get involved with Ulte, and from now on he will handle him. Maybe here Songun tells Donwal about Ulte's weakness. However Ulte's weakness can't make him die. Looks like Donwal wants to lock Ulte up in the well. Maybe Donwal also wants to try various ways to kill Ulte. But it's not an easy job to put Ulte there. Where he is stronger than Donwal. At the same time, it seemed that someone had come to their place. It's possible that Detective Kwan came to see them. Maybe Donwal had previously told Detective Kwan their address. In case of an emergency. Maybe Detective Kwan informs them about Siho and Ms. Lee that they have arrived safely. 
It seems Detective Quan has gotten used to Don Wall by now, and he has realized that Don Wall is different from Ulte. Maybe he didn't think that Don Wall would cry seeing Doyun's condition here. The next day, Don Wall will call Ulte to meet at this place. Ulte comes and meets him. Maybe Don Wall told him that this is the place where he built the well that he originally wanted to use to lock up Songun. However, he brought Ulte here, so Ulte could guess that Don Wall wanted to lock him there instead of Songun. Instead, Ulte could separate his head from his body and lock him in there. When they enter, there is a possibility that Don Wall intentionally heated Ulte so that they fight. Maybe Don Wall will say that he knows what Doyun wants to tell him about the past. Maybe Don Wall can think that it is true that Ulte killed his wife and son in the past, like what Songun told him before. So Ulte locks the door here, maybe he wants to warn Don Wall that he has to cooperate with him. And if Songun had lied to Don Wall, looks like Don Wall will lose to Ulte because he's sitting here alone. As we know, the chances for Don Wall to win against Ulte are low because Don Wall doesn't drink human blood. Looks like Ulte has come back to invite Don Wall to work with him. However, it seems that Don Wall L still refuses. Until in the end Ulte will be angry and admit that he was the one who killed Don Wall's wife and son in the past. Because it looks like Don Wall is very angry and Ulte who looks miserable. It's possible that Don Wall got his strength from his anger, so he could make Ulte like that. There is a possibility that Don Wall is stronger than Ulte. And Don Wall managed to throw Ulte into the stream here. While fighting, Don Wall sees someone. There is a possibility that that person is Songun. Because it looks like Songun is in the same place as him. There is a possibility after that Don Wall goes to Songun and says that all this happened because of him. There is a possibility that Don Wall is Bulgasil, and he is the one who made Songun into Bulgasil. However, when he was reincarnated as a human, he had no memories of the past. That's why Don Wall is here leaving Songun and Songun doesn't seem to believe it. It's possible that before going to see Don Wall, Songun asks Siho to look into her past. After that, Siho tells everything that Songun said to Don Wall in the past. Based on this, Siho said, we don't know why, but we shouldn't trust Don Wall either. There is a possibility that what Siho saw was the incident when Songun was killed by Don Wall after Songun turned Don Wall into Bulgasil. Here Songun said, this was all you're doing. What have you done? You have created more bad karma. And you have brought upon another retribution. I despise you. I truly despise you. Here Songun looks like the person who was hurt and misunderstood by Don Wall. She doesn't look like a happy person when she can reincarnate it as a human. Based on this, I think, it could be that Don Wall is a Bulgasil, and he previously killed Songun to take her soul, and reincarnate it as a human. However, when he became a human, he did not have his memories of the past. And maybe because of that he was cursed by Songun or Bulgasil, so he had to run away. It seems that Bulgasil was also the one who made the wound on Don Wall's hand. When Songun's soul was taken and she turned into Bulgasil, she stabbed Don Wall with a knife on his hand, like Songun's twin who has a scar on her shoulder. This happened in episode 1 when Don Wall was looking for Songun and had a dream. So when she was reborn and could remember all her memories, she ordered her twin to look for the person who had the scar on his hand. That's it for this video. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.